Hi everybody, my name's Cindy and I craft at Upcycle Design Lab. Now if you're like most people, you might see an empty Cheetos bag and think, trash. But if you're here, you might think more like I do. So you're probably thinking, hey, I could make something with that. All right, to make today's project, you need just a few uh, simple items. You need to start with your design. So I've just printed out a black and white design that I'm going to use. Obviously, you need your Cheeto bag. You're going to want a frame that your art fits in. So I've got an old frame here. You need a X-Acto knife, something to cut on, a small cutting mat. some silver spray paint, some black paint, a washable glue stick, and some rubber cement. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our art and make it look something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the frame. I'm going to pull it apart, wash the glass, spray paint the frame with the silver spray paint and then clean up my Cheeto bag and get it ready to have the art applied to it. I should have also mentioned that you need a few uh, tools to take apart the frame. So here I'm just using uh, an X-Acto knife, a uh, screwdriver, and a, cup, a pair of pliers. All right, so once you've got the frame prepped, um, you can just take the piece of art, hopefully you can use the back of it like I did, and it's already cut to the right size, so I'm just putting a coat of black paint on it here. The next thing you wanna do is prepare the art. So what I'm doing here is I'm using some rubber cement to glue the artwork to the silver side of the Cheeto bag. If you've never worked with rubber cement before, um, you, really all you need to do is just put a coat of glue on both of the surfaces that you're gluing together, let the glue dry, and then put the two pieces together. And the reason that we're using this uh, rubber cement is because it gives you a secure bond, but it also allows you to remove the paper and the glue residue, which we will be doing to complete this art project. Okay, once you have the paper glued to the foil, you're ready to cut out your art. So you can use an X-Acto knife or scissors, whatever your preference is, just to cut out the pieces of the art that you want to be black. Once you've completed cutting out the artwork, you can go ahead and trim it down to the size of the artboard and then use the glue stick to glue it to the artboard. Once the glue stick is dried, you get to do the tedious part of removing the paper and the glue residue from the rubber cement. And this does take a little time. You want to be very kind of careful not to pull the foil all the way off of the artboard. If you do, you can just uh, glue it back down with some more of the glue stick. And uh, I did use my X-Acto knife in some of the smaller places to help peel back some of the paper. But this just takes a little time and patience. Once you have all the paper off, you can go ahead and just trim down the foil to the exact art size and put your art in your newly painted frame. All 
All right, so that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my website at www.upcycledesignlab.com.